Shelters are full. Some families will actually risk losing their children. Anchor Brittany Johnson learned that some motels are now becoming a safe haven for families that are fighting to stay together. I'm used to being in a house. Sally Smith showed us how she fits her whole life in a motel room. <laughs> That's everything table. The 74-year-old retired nurse adopted her granddaughter and her great-granddaughter. She fell on hard times when she lost her 36-year-old daughter to cancer. And this room at Brookwood Inn is their home for now. Trying to do the best I can. I'm on Social Security. She and her girls are one of the 25 families with 47 kids who've moved into Brookwood, praying for something more affordable and permanent to open up. I had no clue families lived in motels. The motel's manager, Denise Shero, says she was shocked when she started noticing more families seeking long-term housing here. A few evictions. I've had a couple that have come because the home has been condemned and the children cannot, the DSS will not allow the children to stay there. I've had divorces, domestic violence, just a loss of a job. And she asked the owners if she could clean it up and no longer rent to locals who might bring trouble. The drugs and prostitution and, and, and partying. She started seeing more people like Stacy Polson, who's filing for disability and caring for her 18 year old son who has autism. I'm on a housing waiting list, but it's a year to two year waiting list, and I've tried everywhere, and there's just no, no places to go. And Christina Romeo. It's hard because I've never been in this position before. The shelters were full, and DSS was hours from taking away her two sons because she had nowhere to live. She went to Denise. She said, you have, you have a house. You can stay here until I get back on my feet, and I'm forever grateful for that because I came this close to losing my kids. Romeo has a job, but she doesn't have money for deposits, which Shero oh, says is common. Day. Here, yeah. tenants pay $265 a week, all utilities included. And for those who can't, sometimes Shero raises money through her ministry, acts of kindness. So I need a lot of these. She shares family stories online, compelling churches and community groups to help. They'll call me up and they'll, call, they'll come in and say, I wanna help that single mother. So I just, that's all I do, I reach out and, and pray. <laughs> Everything that comes here is brought here by God. Did y'all have a good day at school today? She also hosts Bible study and holiday dinners, after school snacks for the kids, inspiring a sense of community. And this is just a lot of people here that have made each other family and friends because they're like everybody else, but just on hard times. Polson babysits Romeo's kids so she can work. Romeo pays Polson so she can pay for her room. Others share rides and food. I want them to see that there is a better way. There is hope. There are people who care. Many never imagined they would be here. And while they don't want to be here for long, the support they're getting is giving them hope for a better future. Once I get on my feet, I'm going to do all I can to do from Denise for here. Brookwood's manager says she is creating a financial planning program to help families, and they're also encouraging some single parents to find housing together. The Acts of Kindness Family Ministry is raising money to help the families living at Brookwood Inn, and we put a link to that on WSOCTV.com.